Alright guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you being here. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff, man. Alright, before we start this video, I just want to give a shout out to my Limbar competition winner of the day, and that is Boo Boo! Miss Krista! Oh yeah! Shout out to her. Make sure you follow her, show her love, show her some respect. Let's get it on! We family! Alright, let's get to this video, man. Woo! Alright guys, welcome back to Boon on the Sofa. Today we are doing another episode of Boon Rep Bios. Ah man, you guys could have told me I wasn't even wearing my shirt. Can't have that now, dude. Yeah. Better. Get me? Alright guys, this episode we're going to be talking about Miss Jordan Noggs. Yes sir. One of our fine, fine Gunarets. So, let's find out some more about her. Here's some facts. Born 8th of December 1992. Birthplace, Stockton on Tree. Position, midfielder. Shirt number, 8. England International. Okay, so let's talk about the youth career, big girl. Let's talk about it. Jordan joined Sunderland Centre of Excellence at age 8 and was also attached to Middlesbrough as a young player. What's attached? It must mean she played for them. Yeah, but they could have just said that, innit? They could have just said that and she also played for Middlesbrough. From 2008 to 2009, she played for the same team her father did. Yeah, that's right. She played for the same team team that daddy did and that's running out for Durham schools yeah her dad's name was Keith Nobbs by the way and at the same time she was studying at a community college so another brainiac the Gunnarets are just there they all studied I love that same time 08 to 09 she made her way into the Sunderland first team at 16 years old at 16 years of age in her first season First season, that means she hit the ground running. She helped Sunderland win the FA Women's Premier title. And that's the Northern Division, yeah? First season, man. And in that same year, she also reached with Sunderland to the FA Cup Women's Final. Sadly, they lost. Karma, baby. All comes together. 2009 to 2010, she was a key part of Sunderland's success. So I'm saying all the Gunnarets, if you check the bios, they are all key players. Get me? They are all key players throughout their, their career as they build up and then Arsenal just pluck. Come be a Gunnaret, you understand? Let's go! They finished fifth in their first season in the top level. November 2009, she got revenge on us. <laughs> she got revenge on the Gunas by scoring a goal against us. She was also part of only two teams. Let me say that again. That beat Arsenal in a six year run. A six year run. You understand that? We make noise about the guys in the one unbeaten season. The ladies have different kind of records, man. Go check that out. You need to be supporting the ladies. After a brilliant season, not only was she named Manager's Player of the Year, yo, she was named Player's Player of the Year. Up, up, up. There's one more. In 2010, FA Young Player of the Year. Cheers, Queen. 2010, 2011, Sunderland failed to make it to the WSL. Loads of clubs wanted Jordan. Loads of clubs wanted her. But who did she sign for? She signed for the greatest team in the world, August 2010. I think this is her anniversary. I don't know exactly the date, but this month is her anniversary. Salute to you, Queen. Jordan. Everyone uh, be like Jordan. When we signed her, we were waiting for the WSL to arrive to be formed so they can hit that road running. 
which was scheduled to be for six years running. In the 2010-2011 season, she continued to play for Sunderland, which went on to win their title that year. But as I said before, it did not qualify or their bid was not accepted to join the WSL. The famous Vic Akers once said, and I quote, Jordan is only 17 years old, but she has already shown huge potential and I am confident that she will prove herself on the highest level when the Champions League is on the way. What more do you need? When your manager is saying that about you and you're only a team. Her debut, Sibia, September 2010. Second half sub, which was a Champions League 3-1 win over ZFK. She scored her first goal in the second leg of that game, which was a home leg. She scored the sixth goal in a 9-0 beating. She played all eight games for Arsenal in that Champions League. Started in the last five. <sighs> we sadly lost out to Leon in the semi-finals. She started in the FA Cup final game, which we won 2-0 versus Bristol City. She also played a key role in the league as we went on to win the title. Out of 14 games, she was involved in 12. Nine starts, one goal. The League Cup was rebranded and she started in the quarters and the semis. She came on as a sub for Danielle Carter on the 69th minute. And we won that game 4-1. Yes, sir. 2011-2012 Champions League stats. Eight games, she was involved in seven. Four goals. Progression, baby, progression. We were knocked out in the semis for the second season running. April Khan. That's when the new season starts for the ladies, man. She played in a game at the Emirates versus Chelsea. Now, if you know about this game, I mean, if you really know about this game, you will know that a record was set. What record? The attendance record. That's what was smashed out the water. That day, the WSL record for a women's game attendance was doubled. Sorry, I don't have the figure for you. Just know it was doubled. And where was that record set? With the same two teams. The only difference is this time, it was at our house. But big stuff happens, you did. Just in case you didn't get that, it was set at Chelsea, but this time we doubled it at our house. That was 2011. That season she played 13 out of 14 games. Typical Arsenal, went the whole season undefeated. She got five goals from that one that she came up from before. She also finished off the season joint sixth place top goal scorer in the league. Unirets, sheesh. All right guys, so that was the end of my Gunnaret bio based on Miss Jordan Nobbs. Shout out to you girl. Nice career you got there. Hope you stay with us longer. Hope you sign for a nice long extended contract like I'm seeing the rest of the Gunnarets are doing. Get me, you guys are all professionals now. So I'll be out there. I'll be coming down to the wood. That's what I call it. Coming down to the wood, see you guys play. Get me. Maybe, maybe I can get you guys on the sofa. That would be good. But um, yeah, appreciate it, man. Love learning about you guys. All right, I wonder who's gonna be the next little rep to get a bio. Let's see. Have a good one, man. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, tell Laguna to tell Laguna. We here. Hello. <laughs>